Thanks for coming back to my workshop. I'm Inami Abi. This is the chapter 2 of 4 videos showing you how to draw a character. In the first chapter, you learned about a character's emotions with the simple smiley face. You haven't seen it yet? It's in our channel, so please make sure to check it out. Today, we're diving into what determines a character's profile. So you'll be able to build your own character, aka character features. You get a piece of paper and pencil, there you go. I consider a character as a messenger to deliver many information from their background. Let's say there is a baby bird who has never flied in his life, facing with some devil life mission that he has to fly. What if his wings were big? Or what if small? Which do you instantly find him afraid of flying? Yes. In this case, his small wings gives you a message of uncertainty that he will achieve the mission successfully. This is character features. I'm going to talk about character features in simple breakdowns. Male or female, young or old, and chubby or muscular. We get many information about people from their distinctive features. Since we know how to change the simple smiley face, let's start from that. First, let's add a nose. I want a big button nose, but it's okay with just a dot in the middle of the face. Next, ears. Then hair, as you want it to be. Ta-da! My boy's face is done. Now how can we change it to my girl character? i show you some magic here. i make the eyes bigger the face and the ear a little sharper, and the hair like this. Then I need one more point of emphasis, a pair of eyelashes. Boom, your character has just changed in seconds. What about body? I'm sure some of you already had a hard time with drawing a body of a female character. First off, Let's add a simple body. We're going to change it to a female character. Perhaps a thinner waist. Smaller and rounder shoulder. Then they have a more delicate posture. Look, it looks like a girl instantly. This is a core method entering into many styles, such as animes, American cartoons, comics, and so on. In your practice, I want you to try those styles, always starting from this simple method. You will realize their character features are based on it. By the way, this is a video workshop, so you can pause anytime. Take a moment on your drawing. Whenever you're satisfied with it, come back anytime you want. We grow up and our body changes. What is happening on our faces as we grow up? This is one of the very useful tips I show you. When this girl grow up, her face gets longer from top to bottom. Then eyes get smaller and thinner. Her nose and mouth get farther from her eyes. Think about us in real life. We grow up and our body gets bigger, right? This is the major formula that you are able to apply to many types of characters. Here are also some important tips for body features about age. In our childhood, our bodies are small, usually round or chubby. When we get older, we get clearer proportions. When we get much older, we look weaker in many cases. Her back might be bent, and her posture becomes the way to support herself. Here are some more helpful tips about a character's body types. How would you make a chubby character? Think of each body part as a balloon. When you blow them, this proportion gains a volume, and it becomes rounder. It's a key to draw his body like a rugby ball, and his arms and legs a bit shorter. 
For those of you who wanted to draw a superhero, thanks for waiting. A muscular character has some outstanding features, such as his broader chest, like an upside down triangle. Then, a solid square face, a thicker neck and shoulder, craggy arms and legs. After posing him stronger, your hero at your service. I hope you're not overwhelmed with a lot of information, but almost there. If this is too fast for you to follow, you can pause, or go back, or draw whatever you want. There is one last important thing that you should know about character features coming up next. Through these two videos, we drew many types of characters based on their features and emotions. With these two keys for your best character drawing, we're going to achieve a goal, which is building the best character as a successful messenger to audience. For that, we need one last secret ingredient to make it more effective. Exaggeration. For example, I want this boy character to be active. What if I put more accents on his eyebrows, his mouth, and his irises like this? Does he look more adventurous? Now this chubby one. Not only exaggerating his visual figure, shyness represents his personality as well. I will gather all the face parts in center, mouth smaller, sad eyebrows, and maybe a glasses. How about this girl? She can be a cynical, sarcastic girl. Working on her eyelids and mouth, now nobody misses with her, apparently. You don't have to worry too much about personalities. Sometimes it's fine to just focus on a character's visual exaggeration like him. Or who knows, you might have something hidden inside. I think we had enough to know about character features. I ran through quite fast to show you around each entrance. Now it's time for your exploration. Draw as many fun character features as you can, then feel how they look. Or you can show your friends or family to make sure character look like what you expect it to be. In the next video, I step into a new field, animal drawing. I guess some of you who want to draw animals, but have no idea how. Draw for fun, until then, I see you in the zoo.